Hey, what's going on, guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. The body beat down here, Michael. Tuesday. Today is chest day. What you're seeing here is something I don't typically do, and this is all I'm going to do today. I'm going to do some incline free weight barbell presses. A lot of times if you see me do incline barbell presses, it's actually on the Smith machine. So today we're actually going to tackle some free weight inclines, and this is all I'm doing. I'm not doing flat bench or dumbbells or nothing. So I want to get this over and done so I can go play a video game or something. So anyway, we got 95 right here, 25, 25, 45. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There we go. You'll notice sometimes whenever I'm warming up that I'll come down and I'll let the bar rest on me and then I'll take off instead of doing a quick motion. That's to get all my muscle fibers and everything opened up slowly, ready to go into a normal workout where it's a little bit faster movement. So that's just something that I do pretty often. So anyway, I'm gonna do another set of these and then we're gonna move up a little bit and I may get a clip of everything or it might just be sporadic. So. I'm not sure how high up I'm going to go, how strong I feel today, but uh, we'll do something. So stick around, guys. Okay, we got 135. Okay, we got 185, 25, 45, 45. Okay, we got 225, got a 45, a 45, and 45. Okay, we got 275, 25, 45, 45, and 45. Probably do about one rep. About one rep.
Okay, we're trying for 300. I got a 2.5, a 10, a 25, two 45s, and a 45. Let's go for one rep. Okay, just for some visual proof here, we got a five, we got a 2.5 in between there, we got a 10, 25, 45, 45, and the bar is 45. You can add all that up. Uh, it's been a long time since I've went for this. Incline is not my forte. Ten. Should be able to get it in one rep. Oh yeah. All right, we're doing one more set of three ten. I swapped these out so people can actually see the 2.5 instead of being sandwiched in between. So we got 2.5, 5, 10, 25, 45, 45, 45. Just want to make it a little clear. Not just for you, but for me. So one more set, and then we'll go down a little. Okay, last set. We got one thirty five. We'll go for ten. We'll go for 10 reps if we can. There you have it guys, that is our workout for today. Told you it was gonna be quick and simple, to the point. 
Uh, again, I don't typically do inclines on the free weight, and so I thought I'll go ahead and do that. A couple of uh, things here. One is uh, what does the incline bench or dumbbell or machine or cable, what does it actually do? For me personally, uh, they work the front delts a lot more than they do even the chest. And uh, that's how you get a good front delt. That's how you do better in your flat benching. That's how you do better with shoulder presses and all that is to build a good solid delt shoulder. And uh, those help to really isolate your front delts. And uh, I'd like to touch on another subject real quick, uh, super quick, is uh, how people perceive certain movements to be overly dangerous or bad for you. It's funny, I've never heard anyone mention incline presses. They are potentially one of the most dangerous movements you'll do because you are on an incline and you are pressing the bar at a very awkward, strange angle and you're having to really focus and pay attention and work to keep that barbell or dumbbells, mainly a barbell, uh, in that line of path to where your shoulders are exactly where they need to be. Because if you're out just a hair, you're gonna potentially pop a shoulder, anything in this area, really easily. Uh, so I'm surprised that you don't hear people preaching about how bad incline presses are for you. They're all worried about deadlifts and squats and uh, whether you're doing a, a behind the neck shoulder press or you're doing a behind the neck pull down, that kind of stuff. They're too worried about the things that aren't really as dangerous. That's dangerous. So anyway, that's my thoughts and opinions on incline barbell presses. Uh, anyway, I had a pretty good workout. I did go up to 310 pounds, which is really good since how I don't do these typically. And uh, I feel pretty good. It was a good workout. I don't hurt. Uh, just a kind of update on my shoulder and all this stuff that goes down into my arm. It's about three weeks or so now, and I'm, I don't have the intense, ripping, disgusting pain that I typically have. Uh, and it's kind of subsided a little bit, so I'm happy about that. I don't know how long it'll stay that way, but it's still that way right now. And I'm happy about it. So, uh, anyway, yep, yeah, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope I inspired you a little bit in some way. And uh, maybe you've seen how I did something and you liked it and, and uh, you want to try it yourself. Just uh, be mindful of the movement and keep everything in mind. Keep your shoulders in line and keep everything tight and right. And make sure you're comfortable with the weights and how you're doing them, okay? If you don't mind, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to The Body Beat Down. That's me, Michael, your incredible host. And don't forget, get up, get out, get red, do it soon. And we'll see you next time on The Body Beat Down, which will be tomorrow because we're having another snow day tomorrow. We had a snow day today. Not snow, but ice. We had an ice day. We got some ice. So I get a couple of free days, guys, and that's making me happy. All right. Be happy. See y'all later. Get up, get out, get around, and do it, do it! <laughs>